These are my five must-have shots for any baseball or softball game that you film. I wouldn't say we made it, but we made it through. We just had a new tag and we made them do it. I wouldn't say we made it. Let's go! But we made it through. We just had a new tag and What is up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Matt Ferracci. I'm a video content creator with Major League Baseball. I've been with Major League Baseball since 2018. Shot hundreds of baseball games from spring training games all the way to the World Series and everything in between. In this video, I'll go, I'm will go. i going over my top five favorite shots to get at any baseball game. You can get them at your youth league, your high school, your college, wherever you can shoot a baseball game. I think these shots are very important to tell the story of that game. These are all completely subjective. These are just my personal favorites. This is what I love to shoot. I just want to give you some ideas and kind of inspire you um, for the next game that you go and shoot. I think the biggest thing and the most important part of this all is just to remember your why. Why? 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 Why are you shooting this content? What are your goals? Is this for social media? Is this for recruiting? Is this for a hype video? Is this for TikTok? What is your goal and how do you apply your vision, your camera, your settings, all of that towards what your goal is? And then how do you tailor the content that you're shooting for that goal? Now this is very entry level, so if it seems like some of these shots are very obvious, that's because they are. If you, if you understand baseball, some of this stuff is very important for documenting the game. But I think it's important to put all of this together into one educational piece so someone can learn something and take a tip from this video and apply it to the next opportunity that they get to shoot a game. Honorable mention, B-roll. This is all of your extra stuff, the stuff that will really make your piece and separate it from just a hype video, just a moment to take it to the next level. These shots really enhance the story that you're trying to tell. So number five, warm-ups. These are by far, in my opinion, the most underrated shots that we get on a daily basis. It's kind of like going along with B-roll, they really help spice up the video. And it really just tells the story of the game, start to finish. So in the majors, about 20 to 30 minutes before the game, normally the pitchers will come out and go out to the bullpen to do their warm up. So getting that shot of them coming through and going off to warm up, I think it's very important to really set the tone and set the scene of the game. After pitchers go out and do their warm ups, all the position players will come out and do their warm up. Onto the field, normally past the first to the third base side and warm up their arms, throw the ball around a little, um, do some of their pregame routines that they do every single day. So some of the players, they'll head back into the dugout, but some will stay on the field and for the next part, which is the national anthem. We get the players just kind of locked in, laser focused, that last quiet moment before the crowd really gets into it, before the game starts and everything is kicked off. Number four, going into the dugout. This is kind of a, a weird name for this one, but I think it's important. They're hyping each other up, giving you high fives, screaming, yelling. They're just locked in, ready to go for the game. Then the pitcher comes in, and I think it's really important to get that pitcher pitcher coming in from the bullpen because you know it's game time it's go time we're ready we're locked in we're focused so number three there's actually two here they're kind of the same thing with my job with MLB we have to film both the home and away team we try not to just focus on one area we try to get both not every game you can do that but both of these go together because it happens at the same time and that is taking the field and on deck circle shots so taking the field first off is when all the players just rush the field they go to their positions they're locked in they're ready to go the game is starting, the crowd is into it. You just feel the excitement, you feel the adrenaline, you feel ready to go. As a fan, this is when you get the, the butterflies and you're, you're really just excited for the moment. And then on the other hand, the on-deck circle. So when the home team takes the field, the away team comes out into the on-deck circle to get that extra B-roll, to get those detail shots of players putting pine tar on their bats, chalking up before they head out for their first at-bat. Honestly, probably my favorite shots that I get, and there, there's not even a ton of movement with it. They're literally going like 10 steps, but I think it, it just tells tells the story of the game. It is baseball at its core. Number two, this is really, really obvious, but the highlights of the game. These are probably the most important shots that you're gonna get because they're gonna be used the most widely from broadcast to social media, literally anywhere and everywhere, these shots will probably be presented. Definitely out of all of these, they have probably have the biggest shelf life. Baseball being a sport that's just based on such opportunity, waiting and anticipation for that moment. Sometimes you have to gamble. I love to get defensive shots. Those are probably like some of my favorite in-game types of shots. You can kind of guess and learn based off of like seeing a scouting report or something. But I mean, really it's all up to chance. Sometimes you could be focused on a pitcher and the guy hits a home run right off it and you miss that reaction that that hit sometimes you're just gonna miss stuff that's just kind of how the game works and if you especially if you're a solo shooter there, there's you're gonna miss something throughout the game almost every game there's something that I missed that I really wish I would have gotten that's just kind of the, the name of the game and just how it happens and then when you guess right it is like 
one of the best feelings ever. When you get that moment, when you get that diving catch, when you get that defensive play, you get the pitcher's reaction, and you take a chance during those moments and you get it, it's just, it's such a gratifying feeling. So number one, post-game coverage. You just filmed the final out however you did it, whether that was the pitcher, the defense, the batter, however you decided to cover that final out, you go from there and you get those high fives, you get those moments between teammates. These moments wrap up the game. For us at MLB, we love to run onto the field and get those close interactions with the players, whether that's a selfie in the outfield or whether it's a mascot running out onto the field. Or for me personally, I love to try to get those moments and fireworks in the background. Those shots just stand out to me. But however you cover it, whether you're shooting the post game from the well or the stands or you're running onto the field with the players, getting those moments, those last interactions between the players before they step off to the field really just sums up and wraps up the whole game and sometimes if a player has an outstanding game you might get a Gatorade bath and those shots are epic this is my top five must-have shots for any baseball game or softball game that you shoot. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below or DM me on IG. I love to help people out, and I've, I've been in this game for a while now, and now I think I feel like it's time for me to start giving back a little bit. So yeah, so thank you for coming to the channel. Please like and subscribe this video. Leave a comment down below. Also coming soon is the Brand Athlete LUT Collection. These are a set of LUTs that I'm working on creating, so stay tuned and um, look out for that in the future. And that's it until next time. Peace.